Hi, I'm Michael Neurock and welcome to the training lesson, Higher Time Frames. In this lesson, we're going to cover how to work out what the higher time frames are telling us in terms of what the trend is and what the swing is. This is really the, um, the, the, the whole focus of Profiteer, being able to work and trade within these higher time frames. Um, of course, the Profiteer system displays all of this information, but it's great to understand how it determines what uh, you know, this information is, how does it de determine what a trend is and what a swing is on these higher time frames? So thinking in multiple time frames is difficult. When you add a second pair, you need to keep track of multiple time frames for both pairs. Adding a third pair triples the complexity and further adds risk from reduced focus as well as the potential confusion arising from needing to be aware of multiple time frames for multiple symbols. Okay, so if you, if in a nutshell, if you try to do this manually, uh, you can one either send yourself crazy, or two, uh, really expend a lot of mental energy and uh, possibly make things even more confusing for you, which can uh, relate to not positive results. So the system focuses on using three higher time frames, the four hour, the daily and the weekly. Of course, you can customize this within the Profiteer system, but these are the, the primary higher time frames that, um, that I use and I suggest you use. These higher time frames act as the fundamentals that provide us the information we need to determine what the overall trend direction is. Within each higher time frame, we want to analyze both the trend and the swing. We need to determine for each of these higher time frames, is the trend in line with our direction? Is the swing in line with our direction? In other words, the three higher time frames all have inherent trends and swings in place and therefore producing a potential of six directions. Fortunately, with the Profiteer Higher Time Frame Indicator, we can determine the overall trend direction on the chart we are using the trade without needing to manually check each higher time frame individually. The following charts analyze the four hour daily and weekly charts of the same pair. In these charts, I outline what you need to look for to determine what the trend and swing is. And again, it's important to be able to understand this so you can manually do it or you know look at the higher time frames and assess them uh, and not just rely on the uh, display on your time on the time frame that you're trading. Here's the four hour chart of the Aussie, the AUD USD. It shows the yellow moving average right above the gray moving average representing an upward trend. The chart also shows the MACD histogram bar is red. Okay, so in the current time, what is it right now? Yellow is above the gray and the MACD is red, which indicates a downward swing. So the four hour trend is up, the four hour swing is down. Here's the daily chart of the Aussie at the same time. It shows that the yellow moving average is above the gray moving average, representing an upward trend. The MACD histogram bar is green, which indicates an upward swing. So daily trend is up, daily swing is up. Finally, here's the weekly chart of the Aussie at the same time. It shows that the yellow moving average Okay, is below the gray moving average, representing a downward trend, while the MACD histogram bar is green, which indicates an upward swing. So you can see that each higher time frame is quite different from the others. In the case above, the trend and swing breakdown summary is the four hour trend is up, the four hour swing is down, the daily trend is up, the daily swing is up, 
the weekly trend is down and the weekly swing is up. So there's one, two, three, four up and two down. Okay, so that's a total of four ups and two downs making an overall upward trend because we only need to see four in one direction for it to be a, a buy only or a sell only. In this case, a buy only because four of the signals uh, are pointing up. Even though the weekly trend is down, we have an upward daily swing that's being fueled by a four hour uptrend in this particular example. Being able to analyze all higher time frames simultaneously provides a much clearer picture of the status of the market you are trading at that particular time and therefore provides a higher likelihood of achieving success on a consistent basis. Um, we've got plenty of examples for you to go through, plenty of live trades. Uh, of course, uh, I'm more than happy to look at trade examples on a case-by-case -case basis, upload them in the forum. Of course, we've got the weekly webinars as well. We will be going on pip hunts, uh, looking for opportunities, and I'll be going through countless examples uh, as we progress through the Profiteer uh, training. So I hope you uh, you got something out of that. Higher time frames are just fundamental to the whole uh, concept of Profiteer trading and uh, uh, congratulations of making it this far. We're almost completed module one. Uh, until next time, good trading, live well, and I'll see you soon.